Hello, beautiful humans of Earth. It is I, Christina, here at Fit and Benny in Los Angeles. And today we are talking about your core muscles. And I feel like there are a lot of misconceptions about what core muscles means. A lot of people think about just doing sit-ups and getting a ripped six-pack bra. But actually, your core muscles are a lot more complex than that and a lot more uh, distributed throughout the body. It's not just here in the front of your abs. So if you can picture in your mind a soup can, it's got the round sides and then it's got a top and a bottom. Imagine sticking that soup can right here in the middle of your body and that's your core. The top of the soup can is your diaphragm. The diaphragm is the main breathing muscles. It goes down and up as you breathe. It also attaches to your ribs and spine and does provide some postural support. The bottom of the soup can is your pelvic floor. You can picture that as a basket of interweaving muscles and it's got some holes in it for you to pee and poo and if you have a vagina for you to have sex. And it also has a hole where the psoas runs through. And the psoas is this big, weird muscle that attaches all along your spine, on the inside of your spine, starting all the way up at the diaphragm in the middle of your back and running down and swooping underneath your internal organs and your genitals and attaching right in your groin, in the upper inner thigh to your thigh bone very odd muscle. It is the only muscle that goes from the upper body to the lower body that connects the two halves of the body. It is a hip flexor, internal rotator. It helps to move your spine. It's a postural muscle. It does all sorts of things, and we're going to talk about it quite a bit in some of our next videos because it's really important muscle to understand. Then the walls of your soup can are made up of three layers of muscle that I like to call the meat corset because they are muscles that squeeze and hold you in and can also help to move you around in all sorts of dynamic ways. On the inside is the transverse abdominis, then there's the internal oblique, and then there's the external oblique. And all of these muscles work together in a dynamic way to provide the support that you need for your upper body as well as the mobility that you are designed to have in this part of your body. If you think about it, we have this big chunk of bone in our pelvis and big chunk of bone that there is our rib cage and in between, hardly anything at all, just the spine, those little muscles and your guts. So really the only thing that's holding you up is the dynamic coordination of those muscles. And when those muscles aren't getting along so well and they aren't talking to each other and they aren't coordinating, then you're gonna start to have a bunch of problems. One of them could be difficulty breathing, difficulty inhaling or exhaling all the way. It could be that you start to pee when you are laughing or jumping or running. It could be that you are having lower back, upper back, shoulder or neck problems because other muscles are doing the work of holding you up instead of this nice soup can of core muscles. It could also be that you're finding a difficult time twisting, turning, side bending without back pain. So we're going to talk about how these muscles work, how they relate to each other, and then I'm going to drop some wonderful little workouts that talk about the coordination of these muscles and how to feel them working together. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Like and subscribe if you're into this kind of stuff, and please, many happy bendings. Thank you.